we're gonna start making some ganache. This is not white chocolate, it is just almond bark, bark. And you know what I'm talking about, it's the, it's the vanilla bark that's a lot cheaper. And we are going to chop it up using a chef knife. And I'm gonna start out with a lot of ganache. And then if I have some left, then we can always use it for the cake pops and heat it up again. So I'm just gonna take this almond bark and we're just gonna chop it up so that we can get it in melted. Use our handy dandy scraper and get this in our bowl. This is a batter bowl. If you don't have one, you really need to buy one. They're so worth the money. You will never be disappointed that you spent the money on one. That was just a Walmart brand. It was 24 ounces, which is a pound, eight ounces of almond bark, vanilla flavored coating. So what I'm gonna start off doing is I'm going to add some canned evaporated milk just to help melt it up. Now you don't wanna to get too much in there because if you get too much, then it won't harden and make a nice finish for you. So shake up your milk, open it. You can tell with these measuring cups, you can go right up to the mark and not have to look from the side. And we're gonna pour this over this bark and we're gonna get it in the microwave and we're gonna start melting it. And we're gonna melt it at 30. Well, the first melting, I'll put on a minute. Okay, it's been in there one minute. We're gonna take it out, get a spatula and start mixing it up. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there 30 more seconds and then we're gonna whisk it. It's melting really fast and easy. Okay, it's been 30 more seconds. So let's whisk this up. Get you out a good wire whisk. Not a silicone one because you're going to need to make sure it's mixed really, really well. Okay, these are really cold, so you're going to want to do them when they're cold. So you might want to do half of them, put them back in the freezer, and then do the rest. We're going to use some large toothpicks that I have that are actually for pin and meat uh, because they're stronger. We're going to stick toothpicks. Um, in some of these and then we're gonna dip them and lay them on the wire rack. The wire rack has parchment underneath it so that when they drip we can actually use our handy dandy scraper and uh, take that extra, put it back in the bowl. All right, we're gonna scrape this extra off. Get it in here in the bowl. Heat it up to dip our other cakes. This way you don't waste it. If it gets too thick on you, um, then go ahead and uh, get it on the mic in the microwave and heat it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and if you got a little piece sticking out like some of that filling was, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip them quick and let them drain because it's easier to do it that way. This is the part that's a lot of fun. The thinner it is, the faster you can go. And really the prettier it's gonna be and tastier it's gonna be. You don't want it to be real thick or it's gonna be so sweet that they're not gonna wanna eat it. Slide it, uh, a spatula underneath the bottom and then place it in the cup. Try to get it upright. 
if you push it down in there, it almost makes the cup form into a square. And you can touch them. I mean, they're dry. Hey, y'all. Let's decorate some of these pedophores. I've got a little bit of white icing. It's not going to take much because they're tiny little cakes. So we're going to use some green, yellow, violet, and pink. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do. Let's get out a little bit for green, yellow, violet, pink. We're just going to mix up each of these colors with a little bit. I'm going to use a toothpick and place a little bit of color in each bowl. Green. I'm going to go ahead and put it up while my hands are clean. I don't want to get color all over my color holders. It's real easy to make a mess and get color everywhere, but if you do it this way, then you're less likely to. I want to get a lot of yellow in there. I want this to be a really, really bright yellow. And I know that's not a lot of icing, but I still want it to be bright. And we are going to use a leaf tip, which is 366, I believe. 352, Wilton. 352, Wilton. Wilton 109. We're going to place it in the bottom of our bag. Put in our color. One o two. It is a small petal tip. Put our lavender or violet, I guess you would call it, in here. Eighteen is what I'm going to use to do my ba baby booties. Put it in the bag. Put the pink in. You can see on each of these where our toothpick was, so of course we want to decorate these up and cover that up. I'm going to start with just making a, a um, rosebud, and all you do is you use the small petal tip. One, two, three. Okay, I'll do one facing you. One, two, three. We may just be better doing a regular drop flower, which is just squeezing it like that. So just kind of hold it so we don't move anywhere. Squeeze it. 